Okay, uh, today I would like to share how can we optimize our process output by using Minitab. Okay. So the first thing that we need to do, okay, once we have confirmed that we have all the clean data, clean data here meaning to say we already exclude all right, the special cause effect data such as uh, shutdown or slowdown. Okay. Let's consider this as the normal operating data. And our intention here, we want to have our output Y to be in a specific range, let's say between 69 to 73. Uh, okay, so the first step that we need to do is we need to find out what are the factors that impacting this project output. So in this case, we have all together factors from fact 1 up until 18, fact 18. So we have 18 factors. And among these 18 factors, which are the factors that we want to tweak for a further improvement so that we can get our output within the range of 69 to 73. All right, okay. So the first step is we need to run the regression. All right, select Y as your response. And since all the factors in the numeric data type, so I need to select all these into these continuous predictors. All right, to make it automate, I use stepwise and I prefer to go for backward elimination. All right, this is where I need to change the alpha level from 0 0.1 to 0 0.05, which indicating 5% error. And I click OK and I click OK. So out of 18 factors, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors which are impacting your output based on current data set. So all these factors is actually contribute as much as 95.2%. This is considered a high correlation all right, between all the six factors and your output. So the second step is where you need to investigate all right, the interaction and also the quality impact from the final model of regression by using response surface design. So you need to define first the continuous factors so the continuous factors here is basically fact 1, 5, 9, 12, 13, and 16, okay, which actually coming from your previous final regression model. And click low high, okay, I mean that will automatically identify the minimum and also the maximum value. So this is actually uh, reflecting the range of each of the significant factors. Okay, just click OK and click OK. So this define is useful uh, because we want Minitab to memorize okay, the significant factors from our multiple regression before we can proceed for advanced regression by using response surface design. Once you have completed your define, then you go to analyze response surface design. All right. And select only your response, okay? And then to automate the elimination, okay, we go to stepwise. And again, I select backward elimination and change it to 0 0.05, okay? Click OK and click OK. So in this case, all right, on top of the factors that we have identified earlier during our multiplication, okay, for factor 9, all right, from, from this uh, response surface design, it shows that factor 9 has a quadratic impact towards your output. And there are also a interaction, an interaction between factors. For example, here, factor 1 interacts with factor 9 and it will give a new impact to, you, to your process output, the same as factor 1 to factor 16. So this is what we call the final, final model when you have include all those linear. Linear, I'm referring to the factors quadratic and also this uh, interaction. So to find out what will be the best optimal setting for each of the factor based on this uh, response surface design final model, you go to stat, DOE, you go to response surface and then you select response optimizer. This is where you need to set the target. Okay, for example, target I just set 70. And as mentioned previously, we want to have in between 69 to 73, all right? So I just click OK and OK. So these are the proposed settings for each of the factor 
so that you can optimize your output within the range uh, that had been set earlier. So this is how we do process optimization by using Minitab. Thank you.